From compelling stories to viral sensations, today we're delivering the doctor's fan's favorites. We're starting with a moment that I'll never forget. Imagine you're 30 years old, you lose your sense of hearing. You spend 15 years in silence. But then doctors tell you that you may have a chance to get your hearing back. I lost my hearing about 15 years ago. It was when I was 30, and I made my first appointment to have my hearing checked. I realized that I had profound hearing loss. I had lost speech recognition, so hearing aids have never been an option for me. Communicating for me is extremely exhausting. I communicate with people by reading lips. It's almost impossible for me to follow a conversation in a group. I'm lost very fast. I have no idea what anybody's saying is I'm completely unable to focus in here right now. <laughs> it's very difficult for me to be in large groups. So I tend to stay with a small group of people that I'm comfortable with. The first time I met with Dr. Slattery was two years ago, and he told me that I was a candidate for the cochlear implant. I'm not afraid of the surgery. I'm more afraid of hearing. I've never heard my eight-year-old son's voice. In my mind, I can hear my son's voice, but I know that I don't hear it. So maybe I'm afraid of what I will hear compared to what my brain tells me that I hear. Today we're going to be performing a cochlear implant on Dawn. The specific issue with Dawn's hearing is the little hair cells inside the inner ear are no longer transmitting the sound waves. Cochlear implant will replace the inner ear hair cells and stimulate the hearing nerve directly. There's two components. Today we're going to place the internal component. In two weeks we will then have her hooked up to the external component. We're going to do the implant on the right ear. We're going to make an incision behind the ear. Now we're going to go to the microscope to start the drill. We're trying to create an opening into the middle ear space to put the electrode into the inner ear. This is the hearing bones right here. This tapes bone is the smallest bone in the body. And I love the hearing system. It's just so amazing. We're going to create a pocket. This pocket is where the internal receiver will sit. These 22 electrodes will actually stimulate the inner ear. We're going to sit the device inside the seat that we have created. And then finally, the electrode is just going to slide right into the inner ear. Now the device is in. That actually looks pretty good. We'll hook up a computer to test the device. Okay, we're getting good responses on all of our electrodes, which is the good news. And then we'll close the skin and be all done. Don's activation went fantastic. He's going to leave here soon to go meet her son and hear his voice for the first time. I still haven't spoken to my youngest son, and so I'm looking forward to hearing him. She never heard my voice. I'm just really excited that she could finally hear. I'm nervous. I'm hopeful, but I'm also afraid. I guess I still have that fear of I'm not going to hear him. Hey, Mom, could you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Now you can talk and I can hear you. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Are you happy that I can hear you? Yes. <laughs> now she can finally hear me and I'm not silent anymore.